If you're looking for some quick and easy Valentine Day gift DIYs without breaking your bank, then this is the video for you and I recommend you to keep on watching because you are going to love these and I cannot wait to share so let's jump right in. Hello my lovely friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope that your week is starting off great. I have for you today some very quick and easy um valentine's day gift diys and these turned out so beautiful you guys and they are super easy and i have one that is recycled as well which is great which is this first one here that i'm working on i have this chocolate box that i've been saving because i knew that i could turn it into something and it's a perfect shape for valentine's day obviously a heart so i am gonna take the lid of it and i'm taking these roses that you can get from dollar tree and i am just taking off i took them off one by one from the stem and i am just uh hot gluing them on to this lid one by one i'm just gonna start on the outer rim working my way all around the heart as you see here and then i am going to fill in the middle as well and it takes three more of those roses to fill it in and i really love how it's turning out you guys and i thought this was super cute because you're making something that looks really nice and high end and will cost so much more in the store if you were to get this so really it only cost about maybe five six to seven bucks depending on how many stuff you want to place inside of the box and of course all of the stuff that i place inside is from dollar tree and i do place some uh dove chocolates which are not at Dollar Tree, but they do have a ton of chocolates that they always have out that you can choose from. So now I'm just going in with the leaves that came on the roses and I'm adding that all around the rim going around the heart. So it can look a little bit more pretty and it can also cover up any imperfections from adding those roses on the top of there. And then once we do that, the lid is going to be completely done and she is looking really cute. And now I just need to fill in the box. So I have here this uh, mesh ribbons that I got from Dollar Tree. I decided to put two different colored ones so it can be two-toned and look a little bit pretty. And then I'll start adding in my little gifts. I have this hand cream that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to place that off to the side there. But then I quickly decided to do the two-tone as I mentioned and I am just adding the darker pink one in there. And this is going to be like the tissue paper of the gift but it's the ribbon and it can be reused so that's great. And then I'm going to add that hand cream and then I'm also going to add these two heart bath bombs that came from a pack from dollar tree as well and it's really great for the price because you get about i believe like 15 of them i'm not sure but you get a good amount for the price so that is good and now i'm gonna add these really cute valentine's day socks off to the side i'm just folding them up and i'm gonna place them down in there and then i'm just gonna arrange those bath bombs better once i put the socks in and then i'm just gonna add some little chocolates and i even add a bit of these gems these are from dollar tree they have little kisses um and hearts so i'm gonna just throw some in there so it can look cute and i just think that makes it look really nice and i don't know i guess glamorous or high end and i really love that little touch so i just throw those in there and i add some chocolates in and this gift is complete you guys and i do recommend to add little pieces of tape when you put the lid on so it can look more professional and more like a brand new gift just bought and that is it so we can add our lid back on and this is done and ready to give away and i think it's super beautiful you guys for the recycled box this is awesome you would have to let me know what you think because you know i love to hear your thoughts so let me know in the comments if you would give this a try Thank you. 
Next up, you guys, I have these two jars from Dollar Tree. And I always grab these because I think these are super cute and really nice to do a ton of different decor or even gift ideas. So I'm going to take two of them today. And these are the pack of the bath bombs that I told you about. Um, I got those from Dollar Tree. They do come with 10, not 15, but I do think that that is still good for the price. And they are individually wrapped, so you can put some here, put some there, and different gifts and get the most of uh, out of it. So now I'm taking these chocolates and I am arranging them inside of this jar because I'm a neat freak and I just want them to look nice inside of the jar. So I am arranging those and then I am going to go in with these adorable socks this says i love you s'more with the little s'more on it i got those from dollar tree and i'm gonna roll those up so i can place them inside of the jar i'm just gonna squeeze them in and then we can go ahead and add the lid back on and then i'm gonna take this nice uh ribbon that i got from dollar tree as well it's pink with the little hearts on it i want to wrap it around the top of this jar so i do want to wrap it but i want to make it in an x shape going crisscross on top of each other just as you see here so i'm going to add a dot of hot glue so that it stays nice and put and i'm going to pull the two ends nice and tight so that it's nice and tight on the jar because what i want to do with those two ends that are there i want to take some hot glue place it on each end and i want to take two of the bath bombs and place them on the two ends of the ribbon and they're gonna kind of dangle there and be pretty so i just wanted to add those on there so it can be an extra little gift on this jar but it does look really nice as well on it so i do add the two on either end and i even add one on the top on the lid using a bit of hot glue and i just try to um let it not dry but cool down a little bit before i add the bath bomb so that way it's not super hot hitting it and it will be good to go and actually i'm a bit ahead i do have that pack of roses that i got from hobby lobby i added one in the center there there and then i added another of those bath bombs on top of that lid and then that was it for this really cute handmade valentine's day gift idea i think this is super awesome and i would love to receive this i don't see who wouldn't love to receive this cute gift i love the little bath bombs hanging there i think that is super cute and different looking let me know what you think down below in the comments say hi <laughs> They have all of these Valentine's candies out, a whole section, and some over here. Oh yeah, a rose chocolate, that's nice. Actually, let me grab some of those, that could be good for the gift ideas. Here, put um, maybe like two inside. Thank you. I wanted to bring you guys along with me to Dollar Tree to show you what they have in store. And I'm going to be doing that more often in my videos, bringing you guys along. So that way you can see more or less what they have in the stores. Um, and you know, just have a better experience. Now I'm going to work on the next jar. As you can see, I added a couple of those bath bombs right on top of the mesh ribbon because I want to add the ribbon inside of the jar and make the jar look pretty. And as you can see through it, and you can still see a little bit of those items inside. Now I have these peanut butter cups and I am going to stack them up inside. They fit perfectly stacked up. Um, if you don't want to put the bath bombs, obviously you can just fill the whole thing up with the butter cups or you can do however you want. And I, once I do that, I take my scissors and I trim off the excess of that ribbon. So that way a little bit could be overlapping outside of the jar. And that's going to be really pretty too once we add the lid on there. So a little bit can be sticking out. 
So I'm going to add a couple of those gems as well just to give it a little bit more of a, a different color and to make it look nicer. So I'm just going to put them inside right next to those candies that are there stacked up and they fit perfectly. There's enough room so I'm just going to put them here and there and then I'm going to close it back up. And what I end up doing is taking that ribbon, the heart one, and I am going to make a cute little bow for the front of the jar. And that's just going to add a cute little accent to finish it off along with that little heart gem at the top. And there you have it, you guys. Look at the two together. I think they are super cute. And I think anyone would love to receive this. I know I would. I love anything handmade. Handmade is the best and it's very thoughtful. So I love it. You would have to let me know what you think. Next up, you guys, I have here this heart-shaped box along with some of this filler here. And I got these both from Dollar Tree. This one is going to be very simple but elegant and pretty. So I have the filler right inside. And I'm going to take these roses from Dollar Tree. They light up and they come in a pack of two. I'm going to place three down in this box. So one down here in the corner and one along the two other edges of the heart and we have a nice pretty little heart box filled with roses that light up and can be taken out and used for to place anywhere and i'm just making sure that the lid is going to fit here i don't want anything to overlap out of the box so i'm just going to stick those petals in a little bit and then i'm going to take these dove chocolates and i'm going to just stuff them in even though it's going to be a tight fit and and stuff like that but i'm just going to stuff them in along the sides that way whoever is opening the box they can see that there's chocolates in there Rather than if you put them under the roses, which you could, and I guess you could just let them know that there's chocolates in there as well. But if they don't see it, then they might not even get to it in the bottom. So I just stuck them around the roses and it gives it a nice bit of color as well. So once that is in there and I arrange them to my liking, I'm just going to close it and I want to decorate the box up a little bit. I'm going to take that ribbon, the pink one that I've been using from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to wrap it around the edge of the lid. I'm just taking my hot glue gun and starting from the bottom corner and working my way all the way around that lid. And just to give it a nice bit of color. And then I'm even going to go in with these pink little pom-poms from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to hot glue them all around the rim of the lid as well. To make it look even more cuter and just, you know, amp it up a bit. This was honestly very satisfying and therapeutic putting the pom-poms. I don't know why. It's just something about placing them down and just filling up that lid. It was very nice. So once I added that, I did add just a juicestring bow to the top of the lid. Um, not the top top, but the bottom corner in the front. You'll see when it's done after um, when I show you. And then I also added three diamonds in the center to make it look even more glamorous and pretty. And then that was it for this DIY, you guys. This one was super easy. And once again, really elegant looking. A nice little simple thoughtful gift maybe for your friend or a teacher, your neighbor, something like that. It's really thoughtful and I love it. Let me know what you think. And also give your girl a like on this video if you like today's content and gift ideas. Do leave a big thumbs up for me and do consider hitting that subscribe button because I know you want to be a part of my YouTube family as much as I want you to. It is fun over here. We do lots of crafting and DIYs upcyclings trash to treasure you name it um and yeah you guys i will see you all on the next one i hope you take care god bless bye